the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last chance Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Today is April 15th, 2022. It is 12.49 a.m. I got up like around 11.30ish and uh, I went to bed early and uh, I guess the, the span of my sleeping habit, you know, my internal clock, I got up and uh, I can't sleep anymore so I said let me start uh, recording. It took me a while. I had to bookmark some stuff to share with you. So I have about at least three or four videos to do today because I have a lot. And once I reach the one hour mark, I'm going to stop and then go to the next uh, video. Okay, so this is my back end. New subscribers, welcome. 1,783 subscribers. All right, $333.40. It's been on that amount. Each time it changes. Let's look at my analytic. All right. It matches $333.40. I had two videos out yesterday and I'm starting to have a lot of videos back up. I'm starting to put maybe two videos a day. So that was the last video that I edit. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I have to schedule it. YouTube is reviewing it. All right. So let's go on Twitter. I do not want to waste time. Let's go on Twitter this was a tweet uh, one of the squad is made ice cream and we were just we were just joking around all right but she made the ice cream and i thought that was really nice but the way i responded she get my sense of humor but this is more important this is what i want to cover first tweet breaking a sussex spokesperson confirms that prior to arriving in the hague for the invictus game netherlands Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan stopped in the UK this morning to visit the Queen. 
It was a Windsor visit that their team recently revealed the Duke, quote, hoped to do, end quote. So let's read. There's some stuff that I'm thinking right now, but I want to save them when that specific tweet come about so I could um, say what I'm thinking. All right, these are the comments. Wow, this is clear evidence to the world that the media leaks about the Sussexes were coming from the palaces. Much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. Okay, the queen didn't tell anyone because if she told others, all those journalists would know. This Camilla Tomney two days ago, the clown, and Russell Myers today. All right, so these are the people who were talking about prior to them coming to the UK. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not okay will not visit queen during the invictus games trip prince harry and Meghan Markle will not be visiting the queen during their european trip for the invictus games a royal expert claim <laughs> royal expert okay that was april 14 which was yesterday the day that they went and visit what time 1633 how it is in hours and um minutes and 16 hours that would be like uh like 4 four thirty, i think that's what it is Four thirty-three. all right so they didn't know about it let's see this one that was on the 12th april 12th uh who's that charlotte mcintyre no appetite for megan to come back to britain royal expert says that she's avoiding uk camilla tamney has claimed megan moko has no appetite for returning to britain with prince harry <laughs> little did they know I, um Really special. Trying to track them down and make sure that they're around at the same time that she's popping in without telling too many people. And, uh, <laughs> so we've, had, we've managed, we've actually done incredibly well. Um, we just we've been, talk. Yeah, we've been all over the place. Okay, be prepared for 10,000 articles about every detail of a visit they knew nothing about. <laughs> okay, the Sussex is struck two birds with one stone. This is what they mean by one business and philanthropy work is public and personal life is private. Yeah. Harry been saying that there has to be a line. There has to be a line between private and some of the things he does, philanthropic work for the public. So he is getting that. He's been saying this for a very long time. Chance my arm with a cheeky question. A bit like your mother, you are pursued every minute of every day by lots of people trying to take photographs, videoing, recording what you're saying, pushing. How can you possibly have a private life? Um... Uh, cheeky question. You're right. That is a cheeky question. But um, and to be honest with you, sadly, um, that that line between public and private life is 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 is, is almost uh, non-existent anymore. And we we will continue to do our best to ensure that 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 there is the line. You know, we we are completely aware that we're in a very privileged privileged position, and I will I will spend the rest of my life. Uh, you know, earning that, earning that privilege and trying to bring a spotlight onto things and causes that really, really matter to me and I hopefully matter to a lot of other people as well. Um, everyone, is, everyone has a right, right to their privacy and, you know, a lot of, a lot of the members of the public uh, get it, but in, sadly in some areas um, there is this, this sort of incessant need to find out every little bit of detail about what goes on behind the scenes. It, it, it's, it's unnecessary, you know, I hope that people get to see me here in this Invictus role, you know, cracking on with, with, with the guys and, and mucking in and having a, having a good time with them. And this is, you know, this is, this is uh, half my official role, but half my private role. This is, this is what I enjoy doing, but the private life has to, has to be private. And I hope people respect that. Okay, Harry and Megan don't come to play. Their game is tight. Okay, a sample process of elimination reveal where the leaks to the royal rats were coming from. Harry and Meghan's case stole in and out of the UK like. <laughs> and remember, uh, during the, uh, I'm going to put this before I start that video, this video that I'm talking about. During the engagement, Harry and Meghan spoke the truth and as time passed, it reveals exactly what they really meant. Their true words are actually coming true. Is that Megan respect the Queen through the eyes of Harry. Have you met the Queen? I have, yes. A couple of times. Yeah, what was that like? A couple of times. Um, it's incredible. I think, you know, A, to be able to meet her 
through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother. All of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her, I had such a deep understanding and of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And, and we've had a really, she's, She's an incredible woman. And the, and the corgis took cheese straight away. <laughs> That's true. For the last 33 years being barked at, this one walks in absolutely <laughs> Just nothing. laying on just my feet during tea. It was very sweet. And just like, oh. <laughs> okay. So she's still showing that same kind of respect for the queen because of Harry. Okay. But if it's like us and stuff like that, that would be a completely different story. Okay. And let's see here. This will age very Okay, this will age very. There's the laugh. The Sussexes are a smart couple. Okay, calm, no leaks, and Monticida. Okay, let me read some few more and then go to the next. Oh, there's a video. Okay, let's see. Okay, the staff and Monticida have more ethic and integrity. And I'm sure when they sign up to work for Archwell, they have to sign like NDA of some sort. Because Harry and Meghan have been dealing with that uh, from the UK. And I'm pretty sure uh, they have to sign something because uh, they don't want to deal with shenanigans for no reason. Okay, no time for nonsense gossip. They are used to 5 a.m. emails. Exactly, exactly. Harry and Meghan is slowly exposing the lying tabloid without a word. They are revealing that the tabloid are the ones creating a narrative of family rift to their own benefit. Harry knows their game too. That is true. And at the same time, let's not forget... Um, for Prince Charles, if he did meet with Prince Charles, just remember, Prince Charles already has, has what he wanted already. That's Camilla. Okay? So, I don't think he's into all of this shenanigans. But the, the, the sad thing is, I've said it in another video, uh, you know, in terms of how I make those videos public might come out in different sequence. But the thing is that, uh... When one of the top senior royals make a mistake or do something stupid, they don't, one of the, or two of the, okay, let's say, let's say William, for instance, do something stupid, okay? The two top ones above him, the queen and, and Charles, don't stop it. Don't make a stop to it. Instead, they jump on board. That's the thing I don't like about that or I cannot understand. Or if the queen were to do something uh, that they don't agree with, the two below her could give, uh, give their opinion to whatever it is that there is. But instead, when it's negative, they all jump on board. It's like if one is jumping off a cliff, instead of stopping the other one, they all jump with them. That's the way that I see it. And then for the younger one, who's gonna be the, you know, the, the, the future future, of the monarch it seems like he's really ruining it for all of them for all of them and nobody is stopping him you know but uh, this is not to say the two top ones or uh i'm give, giving them a pass no they they all have their own baggages if you've been listening to some of my videos you know depending on the topic i tell you what i feel how i feel about it but in this one this is uh in this particular conversation it's uh it's william for instance okay he's doing the negativity but none of the other ones stop him instead they jump on board and whatever let's say for instance when harry and megan were in the uk okay they were working royals they were doing trying okay trying to do the work but william with his jealousy kind of thing leaking information left and right much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. What it means is that a senior figure in the royal household, according to Mel on Sunday, was passing him information uh, in order to help defeat the Duchess's case. But, but what did the other, uh, the other top one do? They didn't say anything. They didn't put a stop to it. If one of them, especially the queen, if she had put a stop to it, whatever her she says goes. But instead, she jump on board and piggyback on the negative uh, 
you know, and the negative uh, tabloid that were being uh, written about Harry and Meghan. Why? Because of Andrew. This is the thing here. All right. After this uh, video, I'm going to go to the next tweet because I have a lot to share with you. Oh, my God. Already 10 minutes. Okay. The Sussex's team are definitely the best. It's a new age where the UK tabloid don't have no more complete control. There's the laugh. Okay. Clowns. Two minutes and 16 seconds. Okay. Apache pilot, heavy and the military action. All right. So <laughs> it was there. So I had to I'm going to start with. This week is the Mail on Sunday's assistant editor, Kate Mansey, alongside royal correspondent and author Robert Jobson. So let's start today with you know who, Harry and Meghan, they are due back in Europe this weekend for the Invictus Games in the Netherlands. And question marks still hang over whether they will make it to the UK to visit the Queen who turns 96 next week. I'm going to start with you, Robert. If they don't make it here, how is that going to look? What's the tricky one? I mean it's a tricky one. They don't know anything. Oh, my God. Mm. Um, let me just hold my thought on this. But anyway, but they didn't know anything about it. That's the good thing about it. And I think it look really bad if they don't make it, especially with the Queen's birthday celebrations coming. But there's so many problems, aren't there, with uh, Harry and the in-laws. and the, 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 the Sorry, there's so many problems at the moment with Harry and the, and the family with this book coming out soon. It's almost well, it's very difficult for him to to stop over but look if they're ever going to sort it out then they've got to sort it out soon and maybe <clears throat> this is the only opportunity so do you but what is the problem i mean we understand you know he put a space between him and his brother and we understand why okay we understand why he's putting the space and then my video it has been done before was literally in reference to his brother so I could understand the space, but what other problem? What other problem? Anything else, let's say the Andrew thing, it's not Harry's problem, okay? It's not Harry's problem, that uh, Andrew's problem for doing what he did. So what other problem are they talking about? These people are ridiculous. Do you think it's, it's less of a matter of the security issues and more of a matter of, oh, I can't face the family drama? Well, he's got enough Dutch courage to go to the Netherlands, is not he? So, <laughs> See what you did there. Um, yeah. I really am not a big buyer of this security business because, I mean, you know, the reality is he's got, he's got bodyguards in America. Well, I think that's next to Brazil. I think that's the most gun deaths in the, in the world. So it's a, there's a lot of nonsense going on behind the scenes. But... My feeling is um, that if he doesn't, if he doesn't do something about it soon, when do you build bridges? And this is an ideal opportunity, but uh... of course it's about the security. Of course it's about the security, especially what he had faced going to uh, when he went to uh, the the unveiling. He let it be known. Okay, there was a chase when the Daily Fell was putting nonsense out. He had to quickly put his statement out. Otherwise, we will not know. It's because of security. Oh, my God. These people. And they're all expecting him to at the, um, the games very soon, where he's going to be a VVIP and treated in the way he wants to be treated. So, obviously, that's the way he wants to play it. Yes, it's very interesting, that point, isn't it, Kate? That Do you think Harry has thought through that he is literally across the canal basically in the netherlands and yet if how would that look if he can't quite make the extra sort of trip well that's Britain? it he's coming all this way to europe isn't he it would just be a kind of short hop skip and a jump to to come and visit his even his that grandmother. ferry ride is not such a bad a bad deal right <laughs> look i think if he's not going to come for his you know his grandfather's memorial then it's unlikely let's not forget okay let's not forget he showed up for the funeral which is the most important thing. Everything else after that is just performative. Okay, I move it back a little bit. I think <laughs> if he's not going to come for his, you know, his grandfather's memorial, then it's unlikely that he'll come for the Queen's birthday is my, is my feeling. But it's, you know, Robert's right. I think the longer you... Oh, this people are clown, like this person said. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Let me see if there's any other videos. Okay. <laughs> the squad are laughing. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. there's more comment on that but let me go to the other tweet that i bookmark okay next tweet there's the bbc news okay harry and megan meet queen and windsor visit all right the couple drive in on the monarch on their way to the invictus game in the netherlands 
Okay, so there's that. What are the royal reporters? I see they were blindsided by the Sussexes. No leaks. Someone about to be punished by Fleet Street. <laughs> right, the, the squad are making uh, or laughing about it. Because, you know, the, all the leaks that were going on left and right. And with one still bomber move, Harry and Meghan are front page news again. So much for irrelevance. Okay, interesting. No palace source leaked the visit. It's almost as if all the leakers are all on vacay with William and Kate. <laughs> Seems Harry, Meghan, Archie and Little Bet has been at Frogmore Cottage for a few days. The royal reporters, the clown, must be incandescent with rage. Imagine that. that. You never know. You never know. They probably were there. You just never know. But I doubt it. I doubt it because I don't think they want to create. They don't I don't think they want to play with their chances that way. I don't think so. Okay. I, I, there's a possibility, but I really don't think so. Okay. Have they really? Right. Okay. So I went on that. Not much. Okay. So these royal reporters lied again. Okay. So that's the thing that I read a few minutes ago. April 14, Megan and Harry. Uh, Harry and Megan Marco will not visit the Queen. Okay. So somebody tweeted this out. Okay. So this is different. Breaking, a Sussex spokesperson confirms that prior to arriving in The Hague for at Invictus Games Netherlands, Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan stopped in the UK this morning to visit the Queen. It was a Windsor visit that their team recently revealed the Duke hoped to do. That was April 14. So they really wanted that. One thing I think is that I think um, the whole family flew. The whole family flew privately. Other than that, if it was commercial, you would have heard things, little talks uh, at the airport. If they drove, um, I'm saying drove, if they flew commercial. So I think they, all of the family flew uh, privately. And then I'm assuming, I'm guessing this part, there's an area for the royals. If they uh, flew privately, there's an area where the plane have to drop or something like that. And then they had their car service waiting for them in that specific area and then take them away. So nobody saw anything. So I, I think, okay, this is what I really think. All right. Yep. Yeah, they said, quote, we do things our way and time and quote, granny know how to keep secret. The others don't. It's now obvious that the palace aid were the ones leaking on the Sussexes. The Sussexes U.S. team are efficient. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, one of the things I was holding my mouth before I, you know, there was something that they, I forgot what it was. My mind can't really think of it right now. Um, I think when they were leaving and they wanted them to write something, to let them know what they wanted to do uh, and whatever. But Harry was like, no, I'm not going to do it because they're going to leak it anyway. They, you know, they forced him to do it. And exactly what he said is exactly what happened once he wrote whatever it is that he wanted to uh, write on the paper to give to the i think it was uh, the deal in term of uh half in or half out or something like that i don't remember but it was when they were leaving but you know it has to be the brother who were leaking it. you will think he will come to the realization at that time when heavy said i'm not gonna write it because they're gonna leak it you would have assumed just that statement, Harry said, he will help hold back and not leak the information. What did he do? Without second thought, he leaked it anyway, which pretty much confirmed, make Harry a little bit more uh, careful of things. Because he, when Harry says something, whatever comes out of his mouth, he means it. So when the other one says something, you just have to think twice. Think for yourself the possibilities what might happen if you tell him something okay so the brother I, it has to be the brother nobody else it's been as we know is that the mail on sunday had the ruling against them in february and they were then appealing it so it was lawyers from the mail on sunday who would have approached jason Naff, knowing that these emails and messages existed mm. that would have been the point and unless, I mean, the most likely outcome is that Jason obviously would have then gone to William and Kate. And clearly he has cooperated. He would not have cooperated he would not have with those without lawyers their without their definite knowledge. Okay. While well, Big Brother skis, then Joe Harry strike. <laughs> is he in skiing? 
okay, I don't know, Harry and Meghan pulled off the visit of the century and there wasn't any media around to take a picture. The Queen finally got to see Harry and Meghan. I think the children were with her. I think the children were with her. Okay, the Sussex is blinded with flight. <laughs> the Sussex is blinded with flight, went off without a hitch. No Pierce, Dan or Angela in sight. Okay, agreed. Uh -oh. The Sussex haters have lost one of their things to cry about. Okay, and that's the truth. It fills me with so much joy. So where are those royal reporters now? The joke is on you. Okay, breaking news for the two people they keep telling us are irrelevant. Excuse me while I laugh and Harry and Meghan and my faves have the haters. Okay, let's read some more and then uh, whatever's on the screen. Okay, Harry shuts down the royal family and British media's lying narrative about him again. Okay, UBBC, all an eternal shame of publishing lies, half-truth, and bullying Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. So what happened to security? Securities will only be needed if the public knew. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious. That's obvious. This is why they didn't say anything. I mean, majority of the squad would already know. They, there's a possibility they would have stopped by. Okay? Depend if it's before or in between or after. So we knew they would have stopped. It's just that the fact that they don't mention it, okay? That's part of secrecy, part of uh, uh, being careful. Because if they said they're going to drop in, look at how they were asking in one of old tweet videos. They were asking for the Netherlands to talk about their security. Why would they do that? So other people could plan their action? No. It's obviously they have to keep that a secret. Okay, security will only be needed if the public knew Harry and Meghan was going to visit the Queen. And look at this. What is it? A uh, couple of days ago. I don't record every day lately, but I just keep on <laughs> saving uh, the, the tweets, the important tweets to share with you. What is it? The May you thing. Okay, this is, was another way of sidetrack people. Okay, where Meghan wrote to uh, the letter to May you to say you know to go their separate ways okay all these were things to you know shift people's att um, attention and then on that letter everyone who understand her uh, megan's situation said yeah she could do that privately you just never know maybe they did stop i mean we will know in a couple of days if they did okay so let me read this again Security will only be needed if the public knew Harry and Meghan was going to visit the Queen. The way they did it, none of that was necessary because no one know what was going on. The fear is when everyone know and some lunatic who plan an attack the Sussexes. Obviously, okay, who's sorry now? Bravo BBC. So please, the visit went well and without the evil brother who will have promptly leaked it to the Daily Fair. Yeah. Yep. Daily News. Okay, it's nighttime there, right? Breaking news at 10 p.m. I just love this new era. Okay, I love that Lizzie Kensel going to church to see his grandson and she hide her burner phone well. I think they probably create that. I'm, I have it on a, on, on a tweet. Um, what the queen was going to do. Let's see here. That's not it. But um, I think after this, uh, I'll talk about it. Where the queen was going to go somewhere something and they cancel it all right this tweet now harry and megan visit the queen a spokesperson for the duke and duchess of sussex says quote we can confirm that they visited the duke's grandmother as we previously said he hoped to do they stopped by the uk on their way to the hague to attend the invictus game end quote okay smooth operation with no leaks the tabloids are left red face and outplayed it's it's an opportunity to to really get to know each other without other people you know looking or trying to take photos on their phones and all that kind of stuff you know with that that comes that comes comes with the comes with the job comes with the role but um well, where so possible we, yeah. yeah and we were able to really get to know each other that way yeah. but also then to go and have friends over for dinner or to yeah. go to his family's for tea or yeah. any of those sort of things and even you know just to take the take the time to be able to go on long country walks and, yeah. um, and just been, talk. Yeah, we've been all over the place. All right, they put some pictures, just them laughing. Yep. Okay, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not visit Queen during an Victor's game trip. 
right? They're private citizens. They don't need to tell you this anymore. Okay, there's the laugh. Wow, wow. No leaks. Thanks, Juliet Ridden, for sharing. Okay, let the process of elimination begin. Let's see here. <laughs> People laughing. Okay, I wonder if Megan called Charles a racist to his face or she hoped to forget her performance on Oprah. But she didn't name anybody. Okay, she didn't name anybody. This, peop this is what I mean. These people come. I think I saw another tweet. L let's see some of the comments. Why would she do that? What performance uh, on Oprah? Do you need help? You seem to quite confused. Uh, I don't want to read anything negative right now because I have so much important thing to share with you. This tweet keeps on popping up, this person, so I need to block it. Okay, I'm happy they could visit the queen without any leaks. Okay, the queen. And then we, let's just make this clear. The Oprah interview was a way for them to clear up some things that were said about them on the tabloid that were false. So they took the time to clear it up because when they were in the UK, they were not allowed to dispute anything that were being said on the tabloid. So for them to move forward, it's like when you have a, a monkey off your back. You need to get it off your back in order for you to move forward. Okay, clear your chest. All right. So that's what the open interview was, to clear the waters, to let people know their side of the story. Okay, so that was the open interview. You could hear all sort of things. Oh, uh, this is that about the open interview. No, it was to clear off the the nonsense that were being said uh, about them when they were in the UK. Okay, the Queen knows there are many leaking vessels on her ship, and ensure Willie Leak did not know. So are his tabloid friends. Okay, and not a peep or leak about it. Look at God, Megan and Harry are like ninjas. Okay, that's a different language. I love this. No leak. All right. The voter is in the moment of desperation. No leaks. Okay, I just love how Harry and Meghan just play the press. They have spent months speculating and writing shit only for Harry and Meghan to just walk by. <laughs> okay, play. There's the question mark. They just prove themselves as the only leakers and also that they can't uh, use the security excuse anymore. That, uh, you, you could say all you want about this because nobody knew. Okay, imagine if you knew. You know what? Let me not give any ideas, but the comment prior to this, couple co uh, comment here, this is it. All right? They want, if they want to show up, let's say the uh, the memorial that was uh, about Prince Philip, where he had to tell them he's, he's coming. Or let's say he's going to go to an event for the invict, no, not the invictus, let's say for uh, the veterans, that's the word. Okay, one of the charities in the UK, okay, he will have, let's say, uh, a big event, okay, like the Invictus. He will have to announce he's coming, right? So whoever has any negative thought, okay, will, will have time to think of something stupid. So when nobody knows if they're coming, so they will have to guess, okay? So not knowing is the key thing here. If they're going to be showing up for... Like they wanted him to show up, okay, to be part of the big spectacle for the firm, okay. Now he needs the, the security, all right. But if they're not giving him that, he can't show up. It's common sense. Oh my God. Are these people for real? It's just common sense. All right. This is the tweet that I was talking about, okay. Liz canceled this. I'm going to read that. To meet Megan and Harry, there's the laugh. Those two are ninjas. Came in and left. No leaks. British press have been played big time. Well done. Closed. All right. So I wasn't aware of this. This was written on the 8th. Maybe that's when uh, Harry confirmed to the Queen personally, I'm going to show up. Okay. This is a conversation I could see going between Harry and, uh, and the Queen, you know, with her burner phone. Nobody in between. No middleman. And then the queen said, okay, I'll make up something that I'm going to be somewhere on the 14th. And then I'll just cancel on the day. Okay. Just make some nonsense up or made her, her personal um, secretary write some nonsense to put public just to, you know, shift people's attention, thinking this is what's going to happen here. Okay. All right, let's read here. The, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall will represent the queen at the royal 
Monday service at St. George Chapel, Windsor, Thursday 14, April 22, which was yesterday, you know, when Harry and Meghan visit the Queen. Engagement for publication or broadcast. The Royal Highnesses, the Prince of Wales, and the Duchess of Cornwall will represent Her Majesty the Queen at the Royal Muddy Service at St. George Chapel, Windsor, on Thursday, 14th April. So it's mean like this was already happening, but they saying, okay, she's not showing up. So uh, why is it Charles will be the one representing uh, her and his wife? Okay, the Prince and the Duchess will be met by the Dean of Windsor, the Right uh, Reverend David Connor KCVO, and the Lord High Almoner, the Right Reverend Dr. John Eng. Their Royal Highnesses will be presented with, uh, what is it, nose gaze. What the hell is that? Nose gaze at the start of the service, during which the Prince of Wales will distribute the Monday money. What the hell is that? Following the service, the prince and duchess will proceed to the west steps where an official photograph will be taken of their royal highnesses and the royal Monday party. Okay, so this probably was already set. So Harry and Meghan probably used this particular opportunity to show up. Or maybe they just made this up, I don't know. Okay, so I wasn't aware of this, of this event that was going on. Okay, let's see here. Uh, they sneak in while everyone was at the service. That's why Hazard is a military man. His military tactics have kicked in. Yep, always. I love it. You could see when he's walking, especially when he was in New York uh, during the uh, Vax Live, when he went and visit the uh, World Trade Center and all of that. When he's walking out of the building, you see him, his eyes is looking, my goodness, and the UN bu um, building. His eyes, I spoke about it. Go look at some of those videos that I made around that time. I, I point this out. His eyes was at every single person in that building. Okay, let's see here. So that's why she did it. Okay, math is mathing. <laughs> okay, oh my God. The squad. That's the ninja. The GIF. Okay, I will be surprised if Tempon and his mistress turned wife got a heads up from someone at the palace that Harry and Meghan were there and they went over there after the service i don't know maybe he knew i'm telling you i think charles is not really too much in this shenanigan maybe in some shape or form i don't know but i think he got what he wanted already his thing was look camilla will be uh, queen concert or whatever and he marry her and all of that so he got what he wanted all the other shenanigans is the other one Okay, I don't think he's into all of that. If the queen, for instance, did not put that statement out that uh, uh, Camilla will be queen consort, okay, Charles will be acting like a five-year-old, okay, probably screaming uh, at, you know, not screaming, but whatever, make dramas out of everything uh, and stuff like that, this kind of thing, because he didn't get what he wants. But he got what he wants. He already knows his next in line and all of that. But depending on how nature works, we'll, we shall see. But I don't think he's into all of that. So he the, he probably know. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I would be surprised if Temple. Okay. I read this. Okay. The Royal Voter Rats are pissed. Okay. Harry and Meghan just exposed UK's press and Royal Reporters <laughs> know nothing. Yep. All right. Let's read this and then move to the next one. Bed Pierce Morgan raging. Not a royalist. Uh, but good on Queen for getting together with them. Okay, might but probably not shut the trolls down for a bit. Okay, I don't care about those trolls feeling. <laughs> That's for sure. They will always find something to whine because they are deranged. That is true. One could almost imagine these two gleefully planning this covert mission over one of their Zoom calls to cute. Yeah, I th and not only that, I think um, the kids, the kids probably were there. I really think so. I don't know why. The kids were there, I think especially a little bit they probably need to get that picture with the queen because this is the queen all right the kids are not gonna grow up into that institution where they know i am a prince or i am master this or whatever i am the grandson or granddaughter of the monarch or something like that okay they're not gonna grow up to be to know about this so capturing that picture 
Okay, I truly believe there's a family picture of that that took place. Harry, Megan, uh, Archie, Lily, or you know, you could arrange any combination. The queen with Lily, the queen with Archie, the queen with Archie and Lily, the queen with Megan and Harry, the queen with all of them. All of this, I think it happened because they want to keep that picture for the kids when they get older. So this is a significant moment for them. And I truly believe they meet the little bit. They have to. This is their only chance. They may not have another chance again. Now that they know this is how they do their thing. Okay. So I think they took that opportunity to do it. Yep. Okay. The queen outwitted Tampon and Kamel to meet Harry and Meghan. All right. Right when everyone was gone. That's probably the only way they said they will come to. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next tweet. Oh my god, oh, I thought it was 50 something, it's 35 minutes, but let's hurry up. Next tweet Okay, the queen really canceled her appearance at the church to see Harry and Meghan laughing my ass off, sending tampon and horse face instead. All right, let's see here. Uh, that's the best part up here playing sick and shut in just to hold a secret meet up with the Sussexes without his ass. They're gonna take her burner again and restrict her zoom for not leaking. And uh, one thing we have to keep in mind, the queen kind of reign almost done. She did things her way. She did not play alone this kind of tactics with the tabloid. So she has no contract or no due diligence with the tabloid. The people who have due diligence with the tabloid are the ones who were playing with them, which are Charles and William. So once Charles become the king, now the same nonsense he had put himself in to play with the tabloid leaking information here and there, this is where he's going to be doing his own thing because this is how he felt like. This is the way he should be getting good publicity. So now the tabloid will hold him against that if he doesn't leak. So the queen was not playing that game with them, just like Harry was not playing with them. And then he trained William to be this way. So after that, once the queen is done, it's up to Charles and, uh, and William to carry that same nonsense that they started when they didn't really have to, you know? So the queen has nothing to worry about because her time is almost done, okay? So we have to keep that in mind. Okay, she has burners. <laughs> she has burners everywhere. So there's like a gun everywhere. Serial <laughs> bags everywhere. All right, that's this. The queen made a U-turn back on her way to Scotland during the Diana ceremony just to see Harry. Okay, I'm not aware of any of that. Okay, boom. Uh, she sure did. There's this. People are laughing. Okay, let's move to the next tweet. Next tweet. Okay, Harry and Meghan have paid a visit to Queen Elizabeth at Windsor Castle ahead of Invictus Game 22. Let's see here. The Sun. Okay, Royal Showdown. Prince Harry and Meghan secretly visit Queen and Charles and Olive Branch meeting after snubbing Philip's memorial. Nah, there was no need for that. He didn't really need to show up. He did the set. You know what? That was good enough. Okay, so that was written by Matt Wilkinson, April 14. So yesterday, the day of that we know about okay the couple who stop off on their way to the invictus game in holland smile and wave back at the stunned visitors who were at windsor how did they know that part nah they don't even know no 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 this has to be the the narrative the make makeup story nah they, or maybe this is the possibility of things that could have happened all right the couple who stop off on their way to the invictus game in holland smile and wave back at the stunning visitors who were at Windsor for the traditional Monday Thursday ceremony. One said, quote, I couldn't believe it when I saw who it was. We wave and they wave back. Okay, if somebody said it, I don't know, but uh, I doubt it. Okay, they look happy and relaxed and wave to everyone on the bus. Charles and the Queen were at Windsor Castle at the same time, so they must have met them both. Okay, so I didn't know about that. Quote, it was quite the sight. We knew we might see Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall at the ceremony, but never believe we would uh, bump into Harry and Meghan. Okay, who said it though? Okay, who said it though? Okay, my grandmother and I have a really good relationship and an understanding. 
and I have a deep respect for her, Prince Harry told Oprah. Yeah, even at the, at the how do you call this, at the engagement ceremony, I, when Meghan was saying how much of a respect she has for the Queen through the lens, through the lens of Harry. Please. Have you met the Queen? I have, yes. A couple of times. Okay, not from the tabloid. So this was already set up. Okay, was set, not set up, was already set. The, the respect and understanding was already there. Okay, I love it. The public saw them before the press. Fantastic. No one can say Harry doesn't love Granny. I'm, who was it? Uh, laughing my ass off. Okay, Sussex so person confirmed. Okay, <laughs> I mute this account. Good. Glad they got to see her. Wish these people will leave them alone. They are still member of the royal family and that's his grandmother. Dang it. And plus Megan loves the queen. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things we could say in between where the queen could have put a stop to things and all of that. But we do not know what's happening in the background. So I'm just going to leave it as that. I could only comment on things that, you know, uh, the tabloid are saying. And then the queen's behavior toward her son, Andy. All right. So that aspect of Harry, Meghan and the queen, that's a different branch. Okay. And the fact that that's the next tweet. And the fact that the Sussex spokesperson didn't confirm anything until they left that dreadful little island. Okay, so the spokesperson wait until they are safe out of the country. So they confirm it. Okay, there's the laugh. I didn't come across the, the statement from the Sussex spokesperson, so I, I don't know. Okay, I love them so much that Trash Lloyd is going to have a stroke for sure. Or the gnashing of teeth and rending of hair and garment by the royal reporters will be epic. I'm so here for it. Okay, Harry and Meghan and Victor's game met the queen secretly. Prince Harry is still a soldier. He arrived and left no pictures. They have, okay, they have the best team that knows how to take care of their people. I love it for them, not leaks. Okay, allow me to present my dramatic reading of Toby and royal rats upon hearing this. <laughs> who is this all the while a certain palace was skiing and couldn't leak anything too so that's the second time i'm seeing this so he went on a skiing vacation okay <laughs> look at it. okay so this is what you would think he will be um, back to the drawing board to see how he could make certain engagement <laughs> maybe they sent him off and said go ski and we had enough with you all right next tweet i glad he got to see his grandmother on his own term and outside of all the tabloid memorial Kerfuffle. also very clever to do it when the cambridges were out of the country again i was not aware of that this is what happened when you don't follow them i'm hearing it through the comments okay as they will have definitely licked it this way the tabloid found out after the fact all right so there's the omit thing that was one of the tweets that i already read okay where is egg and bones on holiday <laughs> okay confirm who the liquor and chief was he have definitely called the tabloid if he had not yep yep and he have no common sense to to say i need to change maybe i need to stop doing this nonsense but nah okay and you sincerely believe the cambridge did then no okay they will have licked it to their buddy wooten if they knew yep okay so no money shot and balcony wave for the carnival of expat the wailing and gnashing of teeth will be spectacular. Jabba was just claiming they won't go to the UK a few hours ago. That's the laugh. This and Victor's week go. <laughs> got hot. Well played, sis. Well played. Yeah, that was from that video that I show you where he was talking. Uh, he doesn't think, you know, giving all those nonsense. All right. Operation Burner Phone Search is high priority in Shutter Island. Okay. The, the Queen Private Secretary probably, maybe you know uh probably knew and kept us a secret all right the fact that they were able to fly into the uk yesterday and visit his grand today without leaks speaks volume about shenanigans going on whilst they were part of the firm Rhoda must be apoplectic first no leaks about visit and now their whole quote will they or won't they and could visit narrative gone so there's if they were there before so they must have been at uh fragmore they must have been at fragmore with uh, eugenie maybe there was some discussion during the football during the super bowl visit how they were gonna do it 
maybe all right heaven megan have a good team they are going to go hard on sister york <laughs> that's probably true yeah they probably were there depending how big the place is i mean just for one day i'm pretty sure heavy and megan are very flexible just you know stay in certain area depending how many bedroom all right they stay there and then the next day they leave so i don't think it really make that huge of a change especially when they're not really that much of a high maintenance heavy and megan i know that because there was a part where uh, what, where did I get this one? Must have been the book, Finding Freedom, that uh, when Harry and Megan went on uh, some vacation and they were talking how flexible Harry, uh, Megan was and she didn't need any certain things and stuff like that. So, yeah, one day won't make a huge difference just to squeeze in one plate, one room or something like that. Okay, there's no public interest there. No one is really interested in the young girl. Mm, that whatever is going on with uh with the parents with the money and all of that okay there's no public interest there no one's really interested in the york girls so they don't sell papers besides last time they went after eugenie's jack it only strengthened them it's only strengthened them so nothing they right now will touch them i mean you just never know all right where did the cambridges go this time i didn't even know they were out of the country yeah i just learned that they were on vacation skiing okay i was outside having a couple with okay wine i saw this jump up yelling at the uh, yeah wing <laughs> walking inside triple on lip on a floor hit my head on hard wooden floor now i'm gonna be walking around looking like my goodness like my man punched me out but i love it <laughs> i don't know but anyway let me move on okay it's almost an hour so when she saw the news she was happy all right the only thing i'm getting from this is that she doesn't have much time left and they know it could be look at this there was a picture they put out yesterday of the queen looked like she was dead did i i recorded but i didn't edit it yet she looked like she was dead i'm talking about the queen so who knows i just think because they were so close to the uk you know long flight why not use that long flight to stop by and sell quick hi i think that's what it was uh, maybe all this were taking some pictures to uh, keep as memories because they already know they're not gonna be there full time all right so that's what i think would happen all right i'm glad they visit her and, and i am surprised i feel this way uh, yeah i mean i think memories for the children once they get older, they could say, this is me with the queen, this kind of thing. It may not be ever be public, but for them, when they get older, once they know who they really are, they are the granddaughter of the monarch, okay, who their father is. I don't think Harry and Meghan is going to raise them to say, oh, you are uh, whatever granddaughter of or grandson of the monarch or something like that. They're not going to raise them like that. They're going to be shocked when they get older to know that so having the picture to show them this is when you were 10 months old this is when you were two years old you took a picture uh, well archie will have a more significant picture than lily but i think lily they have to do that for lily to have that picture with the mona for her sake when she get older okay once she understand her position her uh who she is then she has that picture to back it up okay uh so um anyone else think that they are practicing for operation london bridge every day out there on salt island okay how gruesome that they probably be practicing for jubilee celebration and her funeral simultaneously okay and that william was the leaker they just realized she won't be attending easter service at windsor okay agree 100 maybe uh, maybe there's a meeting there as well all right or maybe the queen is gonna show up at invictus you never know all right but things like that you just can't say okay. uh yeah all right there's this correct at this age all it takes is one thing to go slightly wrong and full recovery is not likely <laughs> talking about the queen and the report or that her and megan already has mobility issues oh my god so it was good for them to pay a visit every grant will want the same yes yeah that's what i thought when harry released the first statement about wanting to visit her soon yeah all right there's more comment but let's move on 
next to it all right i have one two three four more all right maybe i'll be able to finish it in one hour all right there's this when kensington palace and the courtiers are not involved there are no leaks okay the snakes is out of town <laughs> that's william and kate well i don't know if kate is there but william and i don't know it's through the comments i'm finding out he went skiing okay i guess Gubo and zivax didn't know yep okay so that's it good the comments are short next tweet there's this the way harry and megan always have a statement ready because they know the palace will leak everything to the press all right so I, again i didn't come across that their statement it's the squad who's saying there was a statement i didn't come across the statement Okay, I think it was more to be the inevitable complaining that will follow if the old lady passes on to the afterlife and people want to abuse Harry for not seeing his grandmother. Okay, it wasn't the palace that leaked it. It was the pensioners who saw them oh, in Windsor and waved to them who excitedly spoke to the son about it. Okay, so I guess that son article, that little screenshot that I saw, maybe it's true. Okay uh i'm telling you i'm sharing all of this with you if the squad did not share them i will not know because i specifically want to keep my mental health really intact and uh i don't follow those crazy people so i didn't know a lot of things if the squad then um share them and this is why i'm able to know because i follow the right people the squad is who you know who don't mind sharing those things okay saying they wave back to them and look happy and relaxed okay i read that um, on this video and it's breaking news i rather think they announced it themselves okay no the son had the story due to the pensioners who saw them being too excited and telling the son about waving to them okay okay i don't know who the pensioners are okay it wasn't the palace that leaked it it was the pensioners who saw them in windsor and waved to them who excitedly spoke to the son about it saying uh, they wave back to them and look happy and relaxed. So this is why the uh, the Sussex uh, spokesperson have to wait until they left the UK and then um, to uh, confirm it. Okay, I think it was the other way around. They leaked it as they know they have fallen out of favor. It's a desperate attempt for positive attention prior to the... Nah, uh, Harry and Meghan don't care about this anymore. They're out, they're doing their thing. All right, so I don't even need to finish with that let's see the comment under that you miss wood please clear off your rat hole yeah I, we, harry and megan let's use this opportunity to just black uh harry and megan don't really care about the those nonsense anymore they move on they doing their work harry and megan haven't come out a very long time all right and, but you're still hearing nonsense from the uk tabloid about them so uh, so that's that let's see here i wonder if our red hair little prince and princess popped over also all right so she retweeted this from good morning america almost all of the outlets were talking about it okay breaking prince harry and megan the duchess of sussex visit harry's grandmother queen elizabeth the visit marked the first time the couple has visited the queen together since moving to california two years ago all right together not just harry just harry and megan so that's my comment here about an hour all right the question was, I wonder if our red-haired little prince and princess popped over also. So this is my comment here. They might. So Archie could have an updated pic of himself with the queen and Lily could meet the queen as well. There was no expectation to be there. I have a feeling the entire family flew privately. That's why you didn't hear anyone say anything from the airport. It must have been a completely private. Yeah. Okay. That was an hour ago when I saw that tweet and I uh, I comment on it. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think so either. But I think they did. We will only know in the future if what I think is true. Because, uh, you know, it's one shot they have and this is it. it. It will be hard for them to do it again. All right, next tweet. Our dream for Harry and Meghan realized their interaction with the royal family coming to us after the fact from their spokesperson no leaks harry and megan okay 100 percent this i'm so glad for harry and megan being able to live your life on your own terms with no influence or interference by the haters and detractors 
I can't say enough how glad I am for them. Okay, it's a delightful to live in this, quote, post-slick world, end quote. Harry and Meghan can make choices and live their lives according to their own decision. Yeah, yeah, Harry been saying this ever since. I didn't think anything could lift my spirit more today than this statement from their spokesperson. Again, I didn't come across it. All right, this right there. Seems Harry and Meghan were spotted earlier today by visitors to the church. It's alleged that they've been in Windsor since yesterday and no one told the voters. Wow. Okay. That's twice I'm seeing that about them flowing a uh, couple of days in advance. So, yeah. Okay. It seems like the rest of the unroyal family is learning to keep their mouth shut. Harry and Meghan must have issued them the strongest warning. Watch and learn. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. They know he got money to call them to court, so they better be careful. Chuck ran to report this to his psycho friend and Harry and Meghan spokesperson was already geared to release the statement. It's a new day. Damn, I, if I come across that statement, I definitely will share it with you. I have not come across it. Uh, can you imagine Baldy finding this out when on his skiing holiday, incandescent with rage must have reached boiling point now as he wasn't there to leak it to the billionaire media mates. Okay, the snow will be melting all over him. <laughs> they stay overnight and no one knew. Again, I wish I knew I come across that other whatever statement. Okay, love highly speculated after the fact. Harry and Meghan, new story. Yeah, there must have been some sort of uh, uh, discussion between Eugenie and all of them. Yeah, Eugenie must have known. All this is a test also with Eugenie as well. Okay, they didn't leak it. They didn't leak anything. It's just another thing. Maybe the kids were having so much fun in the house running around. I could see the relationship, you know, with the kids and all of that uh, being happy at Fargmore. But um, it's, a test it's a testimony of testing Eugenie as well, her uh, secrecy with Harry. All right? So if that's true, he flew in a couple of days in advance. Okay, I wonder if Lily got baptized while they were there. Uh, Lily probably already baptized in the U.S. That, it's a, I don't know. I could be 1,000% wrong. But that's probably already been done. All right? They don't need the queen to be there and all of that. Then again, you never know. They probably, nah, their focus is an Invictus. I don't think they will be thinking about doing those. It, uh, my goodness, it will take a lot. It will take a lot to plan all of this. And to have the people who's going to be the grandparents, uh, I'm saying grandparents, the godparents to float, nah, 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 nah. Whoever is involved with this already happened. It has to be in the U.S. All right, this is my final tweet for this video, and I'm going to do another one. Okay, Meghan Markle was on British soil, and not a single royal reporter knew about it. Chill, respect, no fanfare. All right, there's this. Meghan came for the day incognito and dipped and the clowns on Fleet Street had no clue. Megan said, where is it, seven seconds. <laughs> Shout out to everybody, I have fun. Good thing. I gotta be good. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Those squad have all sort of clips for their moment. LOL, Ekagnego, love it. Okay, just watching ITV with Chris Ship. He looked angry, said he was at Windsor and didn't see them. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, Silk Queen. Okay, and they said they love the attention. Me think it is William who wanted all the attention. Kudos to Megan and Harry. Yeah, I mean, if he had paid attention when four of them were on stage, Megan said she doesn't mind being in the background. Okay? In the background to understand what's going on so she can maximize her work and her potential. I mean, I think that knowing that I've, I've just been here for three months, right? <laughs> and in that You've amount of time, for, well, but with that said, for me, it's very important to, once you hit the ground running, even if you're doing it quietly behind the scenes, which is what I've focused my energy on thus far, is meeting with the right people, meeting with the right organizations behind the scenes quietly, learning as much as I can so that I can maximize the opportunity we have here to really make an impact. If he had listened and used Megan to for his prop in a positive way, instead he only see hate and negativity, and this is where he went wrong. 
he could have used Megan in many shape or form in different way. I've said this so many times. All right. Megan have told them exactly what she was about. But instead, nah, he went uh, completely bunko. Okay. And they said they love the attention. Okay. I read that. And I am tired of all the Kate fashion tweet uh, that keep popping up in my timeline for no reason. The queen won't go to Sunday church, Easter service, the royal rights, British media will on the watch in front of Windsor Castle. Okay, to be honest, the less I know and read about her and him, the better. Thanks. All right, so why are you here? Don't follow the people who will be talking about it. It's easy. Just don't follow the people who will be talking about it. Some people love self-inflicted. Okay, wait, what, when, why, short stop on the way to the game, what happened? That's what you call expect the unexpected, yeah, suckers. Okay, I'm just going, I'm just going to, don't mind me. Okay, there's another GIF. <laughs> I took the picture. All right, there's this. I'm better than William, so fine. Let's do a, a prayer, okay? Prayer for what? Prayer for, let's do safe travel, okay? Safe travel. Okay, there's this. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, preserve those who travel, surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger, and bring them in safely to their journey ends. To Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That's a very good one. All right, let's, uh, I think I choose this in one of my videos. So let's pick the one next to it. Okay, it's very short. May the sun shine warm upon your face, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Alright, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could donate. And those who have donated, thank you. Now I'm going to do video two.